Today we will be stepping up the difficulty a bit. We are doing Microsoft Sudoku Grandmaster. The uh, start is the same. Hi, by the way. You can see me now. Uh, I'm going to start with this hidden 5 in box 2. And we'll just keep on rolling hidden 5 box 1. I will be using restricted cell notation and I'll go ahead and mark the possibilities for box one or box two rather so I have the two ones because column four column five have two in all four spots three in row two and we'll see if we can use that in a bit doesn't look like we can use it immediately but it is a pointing set and then seven in these three spots. The primary difference between Master and Grandmaster is Grandmaster usually requires some sort of technique to, um, to finish the puzzle. So the common ones are XY wing, W wing, um, X wing I guess, but mostly uh, XY wings and W wings. I have trouble spotting them a lot of times, but you can always use a Nishio chain to get out. I will try not to. It's just not very satisfying. Here's the sevens in this box and the sixes to finish it off. And I'll continue with this row. Row six is a three, six, Seven eight. So three six three seven eight and all four three six seven eight. Um let's see here two three six eight so two six eight two three six eight Uh, if you have any uh, comments or you would like to see something special with Sudoku, I am all ears. So, um, voice your comments, opinions in the comment section. One, two, three, eight in row one. Three, eight. Two, three, eight. One, two, eight. And two, eight. The, the way Grandmaster works is basically we get a, we spend a lot of time in this opening section and then the puzzle um, basically halts. Then there is a technique we have to spot and that is when it gets interesting. So twos, threes, and... Let's see here. One, two, three, oh, and fours. So this is actually a naked four. And that means this is a naked three. So we spotted a couple things. That's pretty cool. And this is a one, two pair. So we're left with six, seven, and eight. Eight is in row seven. So eight must be here. I do not like that feature of uh, clicking on a number and then entering it. I have made so many mistakes because it, the game doing that when I don't want it to. And since that gave us a cool 6-7 pair, we will continue to do this row. So it is 2, 4, 5, and 9. If you have any tricks about um, how to talk and not get out of breath, I would really appreciate it. Because I get out of breath so easily. Here's the four. And there's actually two fives, so this is a five. And this is a two, two nine. So two and nine. Mark the last pair, 
two and nine as well. So go ahead and mark the nine and the two. This is a uh, one, three, seven, eight, and three, six, and seven. Six, seven, three, six, seven, and six, seven. Now it's saying this is an eight. I'm going to double check that. One, two, and three. So yes, that is in fact, excuse me, an eight. Grab some water. This puzzle is not giving us too much trouble so far. And I see a six, seven, eight, triple in row nine. So that means this is a nine. All right, and nine here. And it seems I mismarked these. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase all of these. This is a two, three, two, three, six, nine. So two, three, two, six, nine, two, three, six, nine, and three, six. All right, and that leads to a three, six, seven triple, which means this is an eight. Seven and one, three, two, and seven. Cool. Not exactly a chain, but a chain reaction. Uh, one, let's see, this is a two. Yeah, uh, that is my most time wasted, is uh, looking for that one number. There's one number left. What is it? That is easily my most time wasted. Alright, these are six sevens. So six and seven. And then finish the three. And so far this puzzle seems surprisingly easy for Grandmaster, which means there's gonna be a very difficult trick in the future. But I haven't spotted it yet, so we'll see what it is. Here's hoping I spot it pretty quickly. Here's the ones. And we're left with four eights. So eights here and fours here. Two, three, four, eight. Two, four, and eight. And two, three, four, eight. So three and eight. Okay. And now we just start uh, finishing. So this is what I like to do at this point is instead of doing sets, just go through each individual number. So one can't be one, so two can't be three. Four can't be five, six can't be six, seven can't be seven, eight can't be eight, and nine. And I did that one like a uh, long form, but I'll be doing these a little bit more quickly. So two, eight, and six, two, six, eight. So one, two, and a six, a six, eight. And let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And now we search. All right, let's see what, uh, what we have here. So we have a two, three, and a three, eight. So we're looking for a two, eight, but I don't see one. Okay, so three, six, three, eight, or excuse me, six, eight, three, eight. So looking for a three, six. Uh, there is a three, six, but unfortunately it's not used, it doesn't connect. Okay, uh, two, three, three, seven. So looking for a two, seven. 
now. Okay. 3667 looking for a 37. We have the one and the triple, but not one to the side. Don't see a 78 or an 89. Do we have any triples or quads? So two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. See if we have anything in this box. Um, two, four, eight, two, four, nine. Doesn't look like it. Three, seven, three, seven, nine. No. Oh, um, no, there's two nines in this row. I was thinking it might be a naked nine, but there's two nines. Right, um, okay, so I don't see anything with restricted cells, so we move on to con conjugate pairs. What conjugate pairs are is basically Snyder's notation, except within a column or row. So these two nines are a conjugate pair because there's no other nines that can be in column one. I'm going to grab some more water. Just like these three, these two sevens are a conjugate pair in row six. Now we can do some cool things with conjugate pairs. So um, the sevens in in uh, column one, alongside the seven here, and um, the sevens in row six and the sevens in row five, they do make a skyscraper. So either, because this is a conjugate pair, this is a conjugate pair, and this is a conjugate pair, one of these two have to be correct. Now, we just so happen to know that because there's only two options in box six, and this also doesn't help us. But how this would help us is any cell which sees both these two sevens can't be a seven. Unfortunately, there isn't that case at the moment. So let's keep looking. We have, let's see, nine here and here, but that's just the last nines. So that doesn't tell us anything. Let's see, are the twos here? No. Here. Here. No, because of this one. Mm -hmm. And just like that, a puzzle that looks very, very easy can suddenly turn into what is the solution. Now, I'm going to bail you out today. So normally I would look for a solution, but because I want this puzzle to go to a little bit quicker, I'm going to perform what is called a Nishio chain. So what a Nishio chain is, is basically just assuming one of the options. So let's just assume for a second that this is a six. All right, and so we're going to mock solve with that six. So that means this is a seven, this is a three, this is a nine, this is a three, this is an eight, this is a six, and we'll see if that gives us anything. Six, eight, so this is a seven. Ah, see, now both of these have to be seven, which means uh, we have a contradiction. So that means, let's go all the way back. That means this cannot be a six, which means it must be a three. And we can just finish. Now, Nishio chains are a little bit cheap because it's brute force, but if you do not spot a technique, it is a quick, easy way to get out of a puzzle. Unfortunately for us, that looks like it did not solve. It gave us a little boost, but it did not solve. So let's look and see if we can spot something else. 
It wouldn't be the first time I've done two Nishio chains, but I'm going to try not to. Um, let's see here. Need a 8-9. A two eight let's see here one four yeah really need like <clears throat> a two four or a two eight I just don't see one. Oh, is this a bug plus one? It might be. I think this is a bug plus one. So every set except for two here is um in one in one box. Or excuse me, in one so I I would just go through it. So two can only be in row one and box one in two spots. The same for uh, ones. Ones can only be in two spots in column one, column two. And that goes throughout the entire puzzle. Everything can only be in two spots, except for this two right here. This two can be in three spots in uh, column one, and it can also be in three spots in um, box Four. So, if this was not a 2, this would be a 4-9. And if this was a 4-9, there would be a bi-value universal grave, meaning this puzzle has two solutions. So this must be a 2. And that should get us out of here. Just a quick follow the pencil mark to solve. And a nice, quick, and easy puzzle. Hope you have a good one. Hope that didn't bug you out too much.